Welcome back to the channel at Javon Salab Products LLC. Listen, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do so. Right? Now, like right now, subscribe. <laughs> And after you subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the share button, so we can get into the topic, right? So today we're going to be discussing purchasing habits, it has a connection to psychology, right? Watch the entire video so I can explain. Now, purchasing habits, right? Our purchasing habits, it has a connection to psychology, right? Our psychological makeup, which is grounded on our emotions, right? Because you can't discuss the topic of psychology without discussing emotions or mentioning mentioning emotions right now let's use some examples right because I know it could sound kind of confusing right let me use some examples let's say and this is not in all cases right <laughs> this is not in all cases right but generally speaking right Let's say you have somebody, right? They have enough pair of shoes, sneakers. Let's use sneakers since that's more common, right? More people wear sneakers. They have enough pair of sneakers. Maybe they have my maybe they may have one for working out. Maybe they may have one for going out. Maybe they may have one for work, right? I'm just, you know, using this as an example to open up your perspective, right? Now, beyond what is necessary, right? Repetitive purchases, right? You buy every new pair of sneakers or the latest trend, fashions that come out. You buy it or you feel like you got to get it. You got to keep up with the Joneses, right? This can be a sign of depression, right? Because you feel like you always got to renew your satisfaction or your gratification to feel good by buying sneakers. You got to keep buying new sneakers because it make you feel important, right? And this is very detrimental because after, depending on how you carry your sneakers, which is irrelevant to the point, but after, let's say, maybe a two weeks or a month or so, right? That newness is going to weigh off. Sneakers is not new no more, right? So you got to constantly keep buying new sneakers to make you feel important. And this is killing your finances, right? It's making you more depressed. Because you're trying to keep up and you want to get ahead financially, but you want to keep up with the Joneses because you want to fit in with the trends and be accepted by society because you really feel low about yourself inside. And we see this is rampant, right? We see this psychological disease of purchasing habits that is rampant in society today, right? A lot of people suffer from this. We see it especially on social media, right? A lot of people on social media, they fronting, right? They fronting. Like, I know people personally, right? I don't hang with them, right? But I know them, right? 
at their front, right? You would think that they live in a lifestyle that is so glamorous and luxurious that you would think that these people got it. Nah. <laughs> no, it don't work like that. Let me tell you. <laughs> the richer you become, <laughs> the richer you become, the more you hide in the cut. Right? Look at Jay. Look at Jay-Z. I love Jay, man. I respect Jay. I, even though a lot of people be hating on Jay-Z, but Jay-Z is a good example because he come from where I come from, right? He come from the hood. And he's a billionaire now. A lot of people envy Jay-Z. They hate Jay-Z. They, you know, attribute all type of false accusations to him, right? Which is irrelevant to the topic. But the point is, is that Jay-Z, his purchasing habits changed the more successful he became, right? You don't see Jay-Z buying chains or wearing chains or jewelry and stuff like that. You notice that Jay-Z now is different from Jay-Z back, let's say, when Reasonable Doubt came out. Volume 1, Volume 2, right? Hard Not Life. You notice, right, there is a different Jay-Z, right? Because his purchasing habits changed. His psychological makeup changed. His psyche changed because Jay grew. And that's the essence of life, growth, right? So your purchasing habits is a reflection of your psychology. And if we don't change or... Actually, I shouldn't even say that. We don't have to change because if we don't see that it's necessary to change, then there's no need to change. You have to make that decision. I can't make it for you, right? But all I'm saying is that your purchasing habits is a reflection of who you are, your psychological makeup, right? And like I said earlier, the more richer you become in spirit and knowledge, your purchasing habits is going to change, right? The real wealthy people ain't buying sneakers, Jordans, right? There's billionaires that ride MTA, <laughs> right? There, there's, there's millionaires, there's billionaires that get picked up in an Uber, right? Or Lyft. Right? There's millionaires you would never know. 